Hunting Fast Outdoors brought to you by Keys Hunting Gear, the only backpack you'll ever need. Scent Blocker Scent Shield, close enough to kill. Dead Ringer Shotgun Sights. Premier, Premier Deer Tracking. Whitetail Institute. Schwacker Broadhead, hear the schwack. PSE, Experience Performance. Muddy Outdoors. Moore's Archery Target. Play it your way. I'm in hustle mode right now to try to get ready. Welcome to this week's episode of Stand Fast Outdoors. I'm your host, Steve Ellis. This week we're hunting with team member Jeff Barnett. Uh, first, we're going to go to Alabama to our Alabama trip. He took a nice deer down there. And then we're going to go to uh, Chillicothe where he took a nice eight pointer a couple years ago. So, you guys just stand fast and stay with us after the commercial break, and we'll be back with the hunt. The rules have changed. The new Dream Season Evo is the ultimate hunting bow. A bow this smooth is not supposed to be this fast. The new PSE Dream Season Evo uses revolutionary center lock limb pockets, incredible planar flex riser, and the extremely durable fourth generation X-Force limbs that you have to shoot to believe. A smooth draw bow that takes performance and accuracy to a whole new level. Thought it couldn't be done? Think again. Experience PSE, experience performance. Welcome back to Stand Fest Outdoors. We're going to head on down to Alabama now. We're hunting down there with Jeff. It's January 9th. We're down here for our annual hunt. And uh, Jeff comes out for a lunch break, and you guys just wait to see what happens. Where's yours at? Oh, oh. You are there. Coming yearly. This will be the third year in a row. Um, just a, you know, a good fun trip. We come down here for a lot of fellowship every year, and uh, Al's got some childhood buddies we hunt with every year, and uh, they take us in and let us hunt one of their clubs, and we're very blessed to be able to do that. Um, you know, we killed a few deer here. Um, you know, it's it's fun. It's, it's kind of a meat hunting trip, really. It's just kind of a shoot 'em all for us. We don't, we're not really looking for anything in particular. Uh, we just come down and kill some deer and have a good time and uh, spend some time with each other, you know, and just kind of male bonding, whatever you want to call it. But I'm uh, first morning, I'm perched up in my climber. This is the exact same area I shot a buck last year on the trip. Uh, about I think day three, morning four actually is when it was, uh, five days. So. I thought, why not? Come back here, brought me luck once, and we'll see what happens. Well, it's about, uh, oh, about close to noon. Uh, it was foggy all morning. Um, almost was raining on me basically all morning, but I didn't see much today. Not a big deal. It's the first morning, so I'm going to head back, get something to eat, and uh, see what happens. We're going to do a little scouting this afternoon, maybe set some stand spots, and, uh, you know. Who knows? We know some big ones down here, so we're gonna go after them. We'll see what happens. Let me find him. Got him yet? I can't get him. It's too thick. I got taken. He's looking right at us. Shoot. Drop. <laughs> What's up with that with turkey and deer walking out in front of us, man? You see the white belly? Come here. Oh, I Come see up him. on this hunt. See him right there. 
All I could see was his Was he body. looking at you? He was looking at me. I first saw his horns over here to the left. He dropped like a sack of rocks. <laughs> and I waited that extra second and he you got out and you couldn't see him. All I could see was his, from basically the top of his, <laughs> bottom of his belly up. I couldn't even see his legs. That's what I'm talking about. But he looked right at me. <laughs> what I'm talking yes. about. Alabama buck, baby, on the ground, day yeah. one. That's like the turkey in New Richmond. It is. walk out in front of him. You know, sometimes uh, you just have no idea. What did he do, just kick straight up? Yeah, he just fell right over, right there. All I seen was his legs flip up after I shot. If you zoom out, you can see his white belly there. Yeah, just I can see him fine. Right. That's how low he was to the ground. When I ducked down, I could barely see him. Oh, it's a nice buck, buddy. He look like he's pretty He's decent. outside his ears or right at it. Hey, I'm happy to. That's Alabama Open pride. Good morning, right there, man. Look at that. Must be some, uh, like some Whitetail Institute out there he's chewing on. I don't know what it is, but it worked out. <laughs> What's the odds of it? I mean, we're, it's after 12 o'clock. I sat and stand all morning long. Nothing. Grunted, did a little calling. I mean, nothing. Seen some nice ground scrapes back here where we're at, and then I chose not to hunt the food plot this morning because last year yeah. I shot another buck back here in the same tree. And uh, I decided to just scoot on back again. It brought me luck last year. But uh, I'm on my way out of the woods, and there's one standing in the food plot I chose awesome. not to hunt. All right. <clears throat> Let's go to it. Let's go see what he is. Keys packing. Yes, sir. Well, folks, that's just kind of unbelievable. That's just, just kind of luck. He shoots more uh, deer and turkey coming in and out of the stands than most of us do sitting in the stands. So we're going to go to commercial break now, and we'll come back and we'll take a look at Jeff's buck. For over 20 years, our scientists at the Whitetail Institute of North America have developed proprietary seeds designed specifically for whitetail deer. Our products not only attract deer, but provide them with exceptional nutrition. We continue to research, develop, and test these one-of-a-kind seeds, and they can only be found in our Whitetail Institute products. Call today and we will send you free our Producing Trophy Whitetails DVD and six sample seed packets. All you pay is $9.95 for shipping and handling. White Valley, that's an easy track right there. <laughs> you think you hit him high and snapped it? Oh, I'm pretty sure I did. He's only, what, maybe 125, maybe? I know my gun. That is awesome, incredible. What a blessing, man. What a great first morning. I don't even mind the rain anymore now. That is <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. You just have no idea where you're gonna get one sometimes. You always, when you're in the woods, you just gotta be ready. Got to be ready at all times, man. Walking out of the stand, about 125, 130 yard shot, and didn't even have to track him. That's the best kind, man. That is awesome. <laughs> Got phones. That is awesome, man. These guys come to pick us up. Oh, praise walking God. out of the woods. Good job. <laughs> How about that? It's craziness. Well, that was an awesome hunt Jeff had in Alabama. Got a good nine point down there. Uh, we're gonna come back with you with some more hunts from Alabama. We kinda hit it just right this year with the rut. Uh, got some good deer down there. So we're gonna go to the commercial break and then we're gonna come back. We'll be back in Ohio with Jeff where he got a good deer about two years ago. Bigger herds, bigger deer, bigger racks. Watch your herd grow with Big Time. With 11 essential minerals and fatty acids, Big Time is the only premium deer blend that harnesses the power of White Hill Institute's Imperial 30-06 Mineral Vitamin Supplement. Now, your bucks can reach their full potential. But don't take our word for it. Just ask any of our satisfied customers. We've tried to rest, but now we're using the best. Big Time. Welcome back to Stand Fast Outdoors. We're back up in Ohio. It's November 11th. We're gonna get the tree stand with Jeff and we're just gonna see what happens here.
We got him. We got him, baby. Yeah, baby. Mm. That couldn't have worked any better. Trail cameras are the greatest. We patterned that deer coming in three, four mornings in a row. He's a little earlier than what the trail camera represents right now. But I believe he is down right over there in that creek bottom. <clears throat> he come right up through there. Perfect. 25 yards. We're going to sit tight for a couple hours because he was kind of cornered. So I had to squeeze it into that shoulder. All right, guys, you can tell Jess a little bit pumped up, so we're gonna uh, get out of stand here and go down and see what the deer looks like, and we'll be back after this commercial break. The ultimate broadhead has arrived, the Schwacker. Field point accuracy. Quarter inch shots. Bring them on. Maximum cutting diameter, because what you cut, it's what you get. That's why Schwacker, Schwacker is my broadhead. Welcome back to Stand Fast Outdoors. We're gonna get back up in the tree with Jeff and then we're gonna get down and see what this deer looks like. All right. All right, it's been a few hours since we aired him. We're gonna go down and see if we can find a shot and get tracking on him. So I got Mike coming down here right now. He's gonna help me out. Let's see if we can go find him. There he is. Right there, buddy. Right there. He's down. Yeah, baby. Right there. There's where we didn't find the arrow. Oh, mercy. Yes, sir. Whew. I'll tell you, it's been rough. Hadn't got out much this year. Been working, everybody's been working with. Team Standfast has really been behind the gun this year so far, and just this week, we finally started seeing some action up here and finally getting some deer down on the ground. And uh, started with Al earlier this week. He was able to arrow a nice buck, and. Man, Stu, good friend of Stan Fast, he put down just a, his first buck was a mega buck and now followed by me. So, whew, good month and a half in the season before my first actual shot of the deer. So, um, let a few deer walk by this year, but uh, man, we're glad to have this one right here, buddy. Well, that wraps it up for this week's episode of Stan Fast Outdoors. A couple awesome hunts with Jeff, one in Alabama, one up here in Ohio. God's really been blessing us, so we just hope you guys will stay with us. We appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next episode. Lucky shoots more animals coming in out of stand than, than what? <laughs> Keep it rolling. Well, guys, that's just unbooked. No, why should I shouldn't say guy? What am I saying? <laughs> it's uh, Jeff Chillicothe, November. Well, welcome back to Stand Fast Outdoors. It's November 11th. We're back in the tree stand with Jeff. No. Yes. Ohio. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Stand Fast Outdoors. A couple awesome hunts with Jeff. One in Alabama. One in Ohio. And, okay, yeah. and I forgot what you just said. <laughs>